So for the colour wheel, I want this small pulley to go on here. It doesn't at the moment, I've got to get it drilled out. And then there'll be a shaft somewhere around here, driven from that by a belt, toothed belt. And on this shaft, the front of this shaft will be, an, will be the colour wheel. And I want these two pulleys to be fairly close together to get the shaft about there so that the colour wheel doesn't have to be too big to cover the uh, lens properly. And at the moment I've only got this large belt which is too big so it's too long so I've ordered a shorter belt so we can do it somewhere like there and then I have to find out a way to support this shaft in that position but that's what I'm working towards at the moment this small pulley one turn of that will turn this large pulley half a turn so for each frame of film the colour wheel will turn half a turn in other words the green section or the red section only will turn so the next frame will get the green section or the red section you might notice that I've got a different take up sport the other one was too bent, too rusty and had actually been made up from a 16mm spool so it wasn't an original 35mm spool got something a bit better from one of my other projectors um, so that's what we're going to use now this shaft as I mentioned before has to turn and um, that's all fine, I'm organising what's happening here the problem is to run off of the pulley that's going to be inside this box I don't think this shaft is long enough and also it's got an unthreaded section here and a hexagonal section here and I, I don't want those so I've ordered some more of this studding which is not expensive and I've ordered another length so that I can substitute this so uh, something else on order and the large take up pulley that I need from here as a test pulley I'm making marmalade jar top and two flanges so that's my next job to get that pulley made up well, I've made up this jam jar pulley wheel which I'm hoping is going to be at least good enough to tell us what the actual ratio should be of the pulley that I'm going to have to buy for the take up that's the plan anyway and you might have noticed that the um, lamp is now inside the lamp house and the um, little driver up there so we could actually switch this on and see what happens I don't need to run the machine for this um, initially anyway we just see if we've got a light on the screen well I've put the lens back in and um, we're significantly overshooting my little screen there but it looks pretty good I think some drop off around the edges can always play around with that it might be as good as we're going to get in terms of light spread I think it'll be okay now the unit that's in there is a 50 watt and normally they don't have any mains ripple evident but I won't know until I've got the machine running with the shutter going uh, so that will be at some stage soon and then we'll make sure that we've got no flick off from the mains I could try swapping that condenser with one for a less pronounced curve um, which might get rid of the slight drop off on the edges of the projected frame but it's not bad 
that roller, which originally I was going to put at the bottom of the take-up arm, uh, was actually better positioned there, where it stops the film from scraping over here. Uh, so that's what I've done as I've repositioned it. And I've checked by threading the film, it's, it's good, it's all good. I think something I should do quite soon is um, clean out the cross box, pour some cleaning fluid through there. Uh, there's an oiling cap here, and there's also a little hole there which I guess is for occasional oiling or sort of overspill. So uh, investigate that. I, it is possible to take off the cross box cover. It's screwed. Um, but it involves all sorts of nasties in terms of taking off this flywheel. And also the gearing, I think. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hope it's all right inside rather than look at it. Um, clean it out as best I can, fill it up with a suitable oil and then we can check it out at something like the speed it's going to have to run which is 32 frames a second. Faster than it's ever run before in its life and it's 80, 90, 100 nearly years old, 95 years old I think. Never throw those jam jar lids away, you never know when they might come in handy. <laughs> And marmalade lids as well. Another thing I have to do is um, work out here where the slot needs to be for the belt to come out for the take up pulley. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be pretty straightforward and just drill and cut with a jigsaw thing a slot for the belt. I ought to do that soon. Hi, I'm taking a short break from this project now for a week, maybe two, while I catch up with other projects. And also I've got some parts on order that I have to wait to come in. Um, so be patient if you're enjoying this, uh, we'll be back to it soon. And while I'm at it, um, a quick shout out hi to viewers in the Indian subcontinent. Um, apparently over 90% of my viewers for old projector videos are in the India or that region. So great to have you on board. Be patient, keep watching, and um, good luck with your own projects too. Back soon.